All right, new game hype. I actually got the key to this one. I think I, I got this, a key to this one like a... Oh, whoa, well, I didn't even capture it yet. About a, a week ago? But it had like, you know, an embargo on stuff. Like there was like a strict date. Yesterday was like the first time that you could have streamed it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna make a game capture for this. Add the gates. So yeah, this is the kind of thing that I've actually been, like, kind of craving. Um, like, I, I put so much time into the last Civ game. Uh, this guy, John Shaver, I believe he worked more on the, the, the Civ 5. Um, I, I, I might be wrong about that. Um, but, which everyone, which a lot of people say Civ 5 was the, uh, was a superior game between five between five and six matter easy and what up no i am not done with porsche never uh porsche is one of those games i don't think you're done with no i just got a keyboard i've been wanting to try this i'm gonna do some porsche afterwards you know if i if i have some time i got a couple hours to bust the stream out but no 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 i am not i'm not done with uh with porsche i'm only in summer now i'm about to get to like this halloween festival so i'm really uh hyped about that and they just like did a hot fix on that so and like now i got a buddy of mine who's also playing porsche and we're like talking back and forth having porsche conversations like yo uh uh yeah who are you trying to get at <laughs> you know yeah, um, this is, from what I've played, because I only played a couple minutes, cause, just so I could get uh, check it out. Just off the break, it if any, I don't know if anybody tried the game Thea when it came out a couple years ago. Now, I know Thea 2 just came out, but it was had this real, this game is like that, had this real, uh, I don't know, uh, just like uh, this sort of like, I don't want to say boutique feel, but it was just like, <laughs> this game was really... Uh, like it, it was very niche. Like I loved uh, Thea because it was like, it was like roguelike. It was extremely hard, extremely detailed, and this gives me that same sense. Where it's like this roguelike game. Like when we start a new game, we're gonna start a new game right now. And I'm gonna cut the music down because I haven't heard any. Like you know, I like I like to have a little bit of music, but I haven't heard any of the music in this game 
as for Portia, I thought there was going to be like different music, different seasons. Like, I don't know. I just made a lot of things like, man, maybe they'll have a different song, but I can't listen to Portia's music anymore. I love the game, but I'm, I'm listening to other music while I play it. But you start out new game. And right now, all you can pick is the goths. Alaric of the Goths. Unique ability starts with 15 food, 100 treasure, right? These, you've got to unlock it. So it's like, it kind of reminds me, a lot of games are like this now. Um, most recently, what reminds me of one I played was Into the Breach, where like you only started with like one of the civilizations, and then like you unlocked all, you started like unlocking them. And uh, I like that. Um, so I went in here and I only put, I only put a couple minutes into it yesterday, but <clears throat> I was already seeing like, hey, this is the kind of thing that, I like and the kind of thing that I like game that I like having installed like I like a game like Porsche and Stardew now like I love it and it's what I've been putting all my time into but I also like having like something like this especially now that I'm not they're they're like sort of like pick up and plays for me now that tax season's about to start god IRS will be opening in four days thank goodness you know government shutdown it doesn't just affect government workers yo you know, the people who, like, need to work with the government to get our paper. It's like, yo. I mean, see, tax business is fine. It's like, I'm, we're not going to lose money. Like, people are like, oh, man, we lose money. It's like, nah, because all our clients, they still need to get their shit done. We just can't electronically file them until the 28th. So it's just going to be backed up. And things are going to be a little bit more condensed for us. But it's 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 fine. We're we're fine. <laughs> you know? People are like, oh, man, you guys need him. Like, like, there's so many people who are, like, eager to, like, try to help out. I'm like, nah, dog, we're, we're, we're straight, but thank you. So, like, you get, you start out with, like, three clans. Like, this is my clan limit. And what I love about the game, it's, like, it gives you all these tool tips. So it's, like, actually teaching me. But, okay, we have three clans. Tribe can support up to 12 right now. Okay, got it. And from what I saw, like, the last, next few turns, like, you were able to, uh, like, uh, like, we were getting clans, like, early on, we were getting them kind of early, like, quickly. Um, but the thing is, your civilization is, like, not set, right? This is, like, almost, like, before you actually be... It's not, like, choose a civilization. It's, like, okay, you're a group of tribes, and you're going to create your civilization. So, I, I immediately, I was, like, okay, this is really cool. It throws you with three random clans, and then you just got to, like, use what's around you, and, like, work with it, and just do what you can to survive. And I was, like, this is something that, that I like, because... What, what I really love, like, you know, games where you gotta, like, you know, okay, we failed on this run, start again, failed on this one, start again. These games, like, I don't know, I, I like it because, like, things like Stellaris, like, the most exciting parts of those games are, like, the early games. So, you know, to be able to have, okay, cool, I've got some nice early game things to kind of bash my head upon. That's that's pretty cool. And Stardew and things like that, Porsche, like, kind of the same way for me. But yeah, now that I'm like, wow, it's out of my life. I'm like, tax season's about to start. I don't need an MMO. I don't want to hear about MMOs. I don't want to hear, I mean, a Anthem, I guess we'll, we'll we'll peep it a little bit. But I, I, I really don't want to try to get hooked on something like that right now. When you can afford to do so, click this button. We'll spend five cloth to raise your support limit by one cloth. Stockpile, you have zero fame in your stockpile. Fame stockpile. Okay. Okay, so fame, you build fame. It, it gets people want to join you. This is a star. Score is a general indicator of how well your game is going. Minus two. Every turn your tribe is starving. Okay, so it gives you a little bit of points to work with. Um, plus three per clan. That's Okay, that's my three clans gave me that. Plus two per structure built, captured, or pillaged. Plus two per Roman clan killed. Okay. Roman. Okay, so this is like Roman times. And they were like the big dogs. They're two distinct and independently run Roman, Roman empires. Okay, both are quite strong in the er early going, and and picking a fight with them is very dangerous. In time, you'll grow much stronger and the Romans weaker, but for now, it's probably best to stay on their good side. Your ultimate goal in At the Gates is to defeat the Romans by capturing the capital city of either half of the empire, okay, or take the empire over from within by becoming magister militant oh that's that's cool <laughs> i got you plus two per ship ship sunk okay plus one per Ro non-roman clan killed so kill stuff kill romans sink ships plus two per bandit camp destroyed okay plus three per okay so prioritize bandit camp what's like i got it 
What is this? Food? Looks like bread. Food. Food is the game's most important resource, as if you as it, as if you run out of your tribe will starve. Unlike all other resources, it is stored as a number of turns. Okay, gotcha. Rather than a specific quantity. Okay, so you've got 15 turns, but gotcha. Each of your clan's uh, family consumes 0.2 food per turn. You'll start a game with three clans, one family consuming 0.6. Much of your early food will come from foraging, often with a gatherer. Okay. I, I, I was been looking at what's around me. Grassland. Some kind of mineral. Unidentified mineral. Field of wheat. Okay, so we'll get our food from We'll forage that. Herd of horses. What can we do with these? Okay. This is actually teaching me how to play right now. <clears throat> um, later, constructing farms and pastures provides means of produce much more. Okay. Food, uh, food is produced and consumed like other resources. But any surplus is converted and added to your stockpile as stored food. Turns of food. Okay. You gain stored turns when producing more food than you're consuming. And lose them when the opposite is the case. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we gotta store stuff. Okay. And then I know there was like a... I'm trying to get the interface here. Oh, it, it needs jams. Map. I like being on this little peninsula right now. Like... Very North Korea-ish. Geographically, no. <laughs> Welcome to At The Gates, yeah. Hard, slow game, accomplishing things will take time. And although the early game is often difficult, you'll eventually build a powerful kingdom. Click the power, okay. Go it alone? I think we'll go it alone for a little bit. Just, I, I, I kind of like poking around with stuff. So what is this? Early April 400 AD. Oh, okay. Alright, I like the era. Religion. Nicene Christianity. We are already adopted this faith. Aryan, Christianity, Pagan. We'll, we'll keep the religion right now. Interesting. Victory progress. Train clan is Roman legion. Once you have sufficient resources, you may send clans to Rome to be trained as Roman legions. Cool tip here. Roman legions. Formidable foes, but no longer the invincible force of centuries past. They are stronger than the basic infantry, but cost much more to train. So they ain't all that right now anymore. <laughs> Performing this action results in the clan you choose disappearing from the map for 24 turns after which it reappears in your settlement in its new role once you have five legions you may use them to claim the title okay which is one way of winning the game oh oh it requires okay 10 steel weapons 10 armors and 20 oh damn and become magister mill um, is one way of winning the game okay so yeah you become re okay i got i got it i got it not studying, profession, not training clan, new clan is joined. Okay, so this is like our, it's blinking. Clan Ed Egmond <clears throat> has joined our tribe. Clan traits, attentive. Turns needed to identify unidentified deposits as have. Awesome. No other clans on the tile may commit crimes. Oh, it's like an ear. Imaginative. Starts with five levels. In Yo, the ones I got yesterday seem to be bad. These, This guy got like two good ones. I'm liking that. So, all right. Starts with five levels in discovery. Likelihood of having desires have. Apparently desires are bad things. Clans develop a desire based on their traits. For example, if a clan with the easily cold trait will likely become unhappy if trained as an explorer and sent off during the winter. Right, right. The longer a clan has a desire which hasn't been fulfilled, their more mood can drop. Okay. <laughs> Feuds are a special type of desire where two clans decide they hate each other and want to punish and want you to punish the other. Once a feud has begun, you will likely need to intervene. Most clans will never develop a desire, so it, it isn't something you'll need to spend too much time or energy dealing with. Pay attention to your clan's traits though. As some specially troublesome quest. You know what? These tooltips have little hints in it, and I love it. Discovery. 
Plans increase the level and discipline. Okay, I mean, I get it. What's discovery, though? Discovery is one of the six disciplines in which professions and clans can belong to. More generally, it focuses on uncovering the unknown, whether tangible or abstract. It is especially important for professions which produce knowledge, like the lore keeper, or help you learn more about the world, like the explorer and surveyor. Interesting. In... Ah. Okay. Ah. We meet at last. Yeah, the other guys were, like, not saying shit to me. Orins, Thorn, what's up? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Definitely won't want to do that. I don't know if he's been set to it already, but if he's not, that's probably the first thing we want to do. Uh, we meet at last. Yes, I dreamt of this moment. It also foretold that together we would accomplish great things. Yo, I feel that, Edmund. Okay, next clan. Clan Ewat. Look at this, dude. Oh, man, I can't believe we actually made it here intact. Wait. That rock just moved. You saw it, didn't you? <laughs> oh, God. Clan traits dramatic. Likelihood of having desires quadruple? Likely to engage in mild feud within within a few years if there's another clan on the same hill. Okay, so that's not a good thing. Nervous. Doesn't seem good. Morale reduced by three quarters. Less likely to commit theft. We'll never engage in brawls. Okay. Uh, the morale sucks, but I mean, just don't put anything where morale... Where is morale going to come into play? Warrior units each have 100 morale points, though this can be increased by gaining combat experience or modified by clan's traits. I'm guessing it's getting modified here. When an army's morale is reduced to zero, they retreat to the adjacent tile and suffer significant amount of damage in the process. So do not make these guys warrior units. Active professions, which can which can fight one another as opposed to civilian pop professions. No, we're not going to give you those types of jobs. Um, okay. It is what it is. I mean, I, I guess it's it makes up for... Kind of balances out with how good the first clan was. Clan Mannheim. <clears throat> Mannheim. We'd really, we'd really appreciate a place to stay. Another night out in the rain and we'll certainly lose our minds. Clan traits. God damn it. Gluttonous. Food consumption <laughs> increased by half. Oh, shit. I mean, I know what that means. And afraid of water. So don't make you sailors or fishermen. <laughs> okay. Three turns needed to enter tiles with streams. Two turns needed to enter marsh tiles. Training time for water-based professions doubled. Likely to get very upset almost immediately if forced into a sea faring prof profession trained as uh, fishermen or galley. I gotta say, I think these are the most, like, I think this has been, like, the most entertaining, like, tool tips I've read. There's, there's hints in there. It's like... They've made tooltips part of the game. Um, <laughs> so we got like one great clan, one meh, and then one these guys are just going to be... I mean, it, it just means we can't put them in water stuff. It's, it's a limitation. We're going to work with it. Uh, settlement is idle. Clans of the Goths. Sitting around is just the worst. You just think about all the terrible things that can happen. <laughs> I love the dramatic guy just keeps talking. What is this five... Clan Eggman contains one family. Oh, discipline. So they've already got the discipline. That's what you were saying. Okay, I see. I see. <laughs> Put them on the boats. <laughs> can you boot a clan out or can they die? I have no idea. We're about to find out. Um, I don't know. I'm just like, it, this is like my first like real playthrough. I kind of just poked around with it yesterday, but didn't get really past this part. Um, Okay, so you guys are going to... You guys are my explorer, then? Does that... They have a discipline, but no profession. Is, is that... Not studying... Okay. Training the clan. Okay, that's one thing. The profession is like the tech tree. But you gotta plan accordingly. Let's let's just look at the tech tree before we make a, a, a decision. So... <clears throat> we've got reapers, gatherers... Agriculture... An honor. Oh, it's like you got to pick between one or the other to unlock this. Okay, let's let's work with what we have here for a second. I just wanted to kind of get a glimpse of that. Okay, so 
if training a clan then explorer i just want to check this out explorers excel in discovering any opportunities or threats that are nearby they can cross rough terrain like hills and forests easily and are the only profession which can explore deserted locations Zero locations can provide bonuses like free resources, but only if investigated by an explorer. It is possible for some types to to hide hidden danger like bandits. So don't be too reckless. Uh, explorers are also extremely fragile and can neither attack enemies or capture structures. Okay, you're your scouts. That's cool. Training clan as an explorer on the first turn is often a good move, as this will give you more information with which to build strategies around. That's Sounds like it's just telling you, yo, poke, poke, first move, do this. What is this? Expand this tile, see this profession's special abilities. Yes, please. Explore deserted locations, cannot attack stats. Three move points, two power. Power is a rating of units, military strength. Okay. One army with double the power of another will beat it up pretty good, but not quite kill it. Okay. I like that little little tip there. Hills adds one extra force, consumes them all. Yeah, it's very good to know about the movements. Warrior units have 50 morale points. Okay. Learned about that. Or vision, how far you can how many tiles you can see. Cool. Requires one supply, represents the basic goods needed to keep that unit functioning during the summer most clans will be able to freely connect okay most clans will be able to freely collect what they need from their tile but it is no longer the case once it becomes cold at this point a unit may need to encamp to avoid taking damage Ooh, that's that's interesting how the cold comes into play what is it? temperature of tiles will change throughout the year oh and in the winter, they will usually become cold. This shuts down the production of plants and farms by foragers and usually forces you to subsist off the food you've stored. I like it. It's just something it, I, it's complex. I like it. It's realistic. You got to deal with that shit. That shit is a killer. So you need to encamp. Gives the unit and army two extra supply, which is invaluable during the winter. Oh, okay. Strategy will often employ during the cold months is to alternate between encamping on one turn to replenish the supply and perform whatever action you were in the middle of on the next forging or identifying deposits i gotcha any action can only be performed if the unit hasn't sp spent any move points on the turn uh when you order a unit to encamp it automatically wakes up the next turn gotcha gotcha okay the lancer actually require more than one supply point why because this dude's got a horse Cool. We ain't there yet. Well, it looks like first turn we should turn that dude to explore. These guys we will make foragers. I'm guessing that's the thing. You guys too, you gluttonous bastards. Definitely putting them to work first. Um, because this turn they're just gonna eat to eat more. Train clan in profession is what we're doing now, but also train a clan in a discipline on the same turn or is that two different things well i want to train them to forage stuff but let's let's i guess we got to be aware of what's around us we've got minerals we've got wheat so we'll forge that in horses what there's something that messes with horses that's probably down the line probably down this way Agriculture, bread makers, harvesters. Okay. Well, we already have gatherers. Oh, we're going to actually need a reaper then, right? We'll get a reaper, reaper for the... Whatchamacallit? For the... <clears throat> the wheat. But down the line, I don't know which way we want to go. I guess agriculture.
Learning this tech will allow you to study new professions and upgrades in agriculture. One of the six disciplines. Cultivation of plants. It is required by many professions involving food. Yeah, we need that. Once finished, it also provides you... Ah. Provides you a one-time opportunity to give a settled clan two free levels in agriculture. Reducing the number of turns needed to train it in professions. Okay, so we'll pick somebody to be our agriculture. I, I'm guessing it's going to be the gluttonous. It kind of works out. It's like, okay, if you guys are going to eat more, at least be the ones that are, like, producing the most. Like, earn it. Earn that. Earn that meal. Is that is that selected? Okay. Okay. Agriculture, one turn. Explore, and then I guess once everything is done, you just finish. First turns usually go up fast. Yeah, I didn't see anything about booting out clans. Hold on, hold on. Maybe. Let me check out this clan management thing in a second. Late April. <clears throat> oh! Perceptive gatherers have joined our tribe. Clan Hulbert. You may switch a clan's discipline to agriculture. Okay. Interface and basic controls. All the... At the gates has the coolest cool tips of any game. Yo, I was just saying that. I've ever made, so make sure to use them. Dude, I ha I'm saying that. The tooltips are like a game in themselves. Move the mouse cursor over the emphasized word anywhere in the game. You can learn more, even from within other tooltips. I know. <laughs> I, I, I learned that on my own. It's pretty cool. I, I do dig a good tooltip. Um, the game also has several hotkeys to assist in navigating the interface, which appear when mousing over a button that is course, and it has a corresponding key. I've noticed that. Well, like it looks cool as it comes up. Very small, you know? Very, like low, light footprint. It's not like. As most important keys are the space bar, which opens up the clan screen, enter, which ends the turn or activates the next unresolved high priority notification. Learn more about world screen is where you spend most of your time. It is mostly taken up by the map. The three most important buttons are located in the upper right and involve making high-level decisions which affect your tribe. The selection panel appears in the lower left corner. Click on a map object. provides you with information related to it. Yeah, I've noticed that. The three most important things are the clan screen, training screen, and the research screen. Alright, hold on, I just want to mess with this real quick. New clan has joined. Albert. Gatherers. Starts in the gatherer profession. Cool. Likely to get upset within a year if forced a profession profession outside agriculture. And then they got a plus one vision range. That's nice. <clears throat> we got we got good people joining up. Clans are idle. Okay, this is one that already has the profession, I guess. Choose a clan. No task that will leave us so please. Choose a clan that is going to receive two levels in agriculture. Do I give it to the people that like already love it? I feel like that's the way to go, right? They're already gatherers. Let me let me let me think about this. Just let, I gotta I got see what's down the line. So agriculture means just like anything on this whole tr tree then, right? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, okay. Alright, well, I'm, I th I'm, I'm leaning on giving it to them. But then from here, we, 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 we've got to go further down. What is this? Bread maker. Wheat and barley production across the tribe doubled. Harvester upgrade. Okay, before I make a decision like this, though, let's let, we we need more information about the world. We've got our gatherer now, do we not? Okay, Eggman. This is basically like your whole role. So will he be able to identify this thing? Can I save? Looks like there's more, like, plant out there. Whoa, look at all... Yeah, okay. 
Trying to see how to how I would identify this. Unidentified material. Seeing this on a tile means there's a mineral there, but you don't know what kind yet. Once identified by a digger or surveyor. Oh. Okay, that's fine. We got here pet berries and minerals. Okay, but we can't send the people across. Well, they can they can walk through the woods. Anyway, but they're gonna need to get that. You still move other places. Okay, well we'll send them out here this time. Okay, so I think foraging we need we, we're gonna we have two rocks here, so we're gonna need someone digging. So let's head down. Where where is that digger? Is that an honor thing? Gatherer. We might not be able to mess with these rocks yet. Pillars. Briners, gardeners. I don't want to go farmers. Might be too early to do all that. Already got the gatherer. Harvester. Harvesters double the production of gatherers and reapers. Training them requires tools. We have that. Go farmers. Try this out. Not training a clan. Alright, these guys have a job. Oh, they can leave. Order this clan to return to the map. Not one of the originals, but the new people. Oh, the digger job is already available. Derp. Okay, so what we'll do, we already have a gather, so we'll get the next person, next person out there, uh... Well, the gatherer can't cut that wheat. The gatherer will send to the berries, we'll send the reaper to get, we'll get this person to be the reaper. And then the next turn... We'll have that person become a digger. Perfect. This person, yeah, and then we'll boost Albert. And they're already gather, right? I was trying to give them that that boost. Did it work? Oh, it, yeah, okay, it did. They're at agriculture level three now. Sweet. So I guess when I have a better level job, they can now they 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 can now uh, they can do that. That's awesome. Okay. How do you declare kingdom? Declaring your tribe as a kingdom permanently fixes your settlement in place, but offers some significant bonuses in return. Because you'll no longer be able to move your settlement after declaring a kingdom, make sure you're in a good place that you can continue to expand from before beginning to. Oh, okay. I see you. As a general rule of thumb, you won't want to perform this action during the first few years of the game. No, 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 I get that. Because it's cool. Like, right now, we can... Apparently, we can still move our settlement. Yeah. Do I want to? Uh... Oh, no. We're, 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 we're... Oh, you would have to pack up. No, I don't, I don't want to do that right now. All right, so we do this. Advanced interface concepts below. Yeah, there was like I saw there was like a note that that or something. Any hotkey which opens up a screen may be used to close it. Right. You can turn off the, the map grid with the thickness of the grid lines. Gee, oh. Oh. 
Well, I want it for now. Yeah. How do you change the thickness? Good with that. Um, there are several places in the game where you can write small notes to yourself, keep track of things, right clicking on a clan card or a map tile. Oh, cool. You could like put a note like, they suck. <laughs> I like that. ATG's tooltips are the game's most powerful tool for learning how to play. Simply move your mouse over any emphasized word. Yeah, yeah, we know. Good. The victory screen shows you how to win the game, how close you are to doing so. Huh. F3 allows you to speak to your other leaders with leader. I didn't even see this diplomacy screen. F8 gives you a single player. What? Also changes my scene for the stream. Interesting. Okay, I'm good with that for now. Ah! Alright, so they'll have that Reaper job in two turns. Clan Rolf, Meek, and Craven have joined your tribe. Yo, these seem sound terrible. Ralph, oh, hello. Craven, it's a chicken. Will refuse to attack enemy armies. Morale reduced by three quarters and plus one move point. So that's that's good. You're just not fighters. That's cool. We'll have you do something else. Morale halved. Cannot be trained in social professions. Ooh. Never has desires. Never engages peace. Okay, so you're just going to be... You know what? We need more people like you. You're just going to be a gatherer or some shit. All right, let's move our idle guys first. Get them doing some exploring. Looks like, ooh, what is this? Deserted village. Yeah, these are the only people that could see what deserted stuff is about. There then. All right. That's all we can do this turn. People are still getting trained. Might have been too early to go farm. Maybe you do want to go on honor next. Okay, so now we got a Reaper. And you shall reap reap that. Cool. I like that animation. Oh man, it like kind of reminds me of like the social studies like textbook maps, like with the shows the people doing stuff when I was a kid, just get, like a flashback or something. Okay, not training clan. Next dudes to get a job. What you all don't have a job? I thought you started as a gatherer. You're already a gatherer. Why can't I pick them? Oh. Are they getting trained right now? Is that what that... Discipline, Professor, Gatherer. It's Hubert, right? It's not these dudes. I don't, I don't understand why I'm not seeing them. Whatever. Alright. Train one of these guys to dig stuff up. We 
guys, I guess. What about you? Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them the job. We have a lot of rocks. Okay, so I can only train one person at a time. Whoa, what's all this up here now? Bad guys. Yo, that's an enemy. Hunter? Farmer from Clan Helmar. Yo. Who the hell is this guy? Archer. And I just want to explore some shit. What happens? Clan Lothar, stubborn and sensitive, have joined our tribe. You can now train farmers. Okay. Uh, this wasn't exactly where we were headed, but I'll be damned if we're going back out there. We'll we'll be staying. Might rarely engage in mild feud if there's a clan on the same tile. Sensitive. Stubborn. Two additional turns to train when switching disciplines. Might very rarely get. Oh man! So these guys are just gonna be a pain in the ass. All right, give them one job and that'll be it. We received information about several tiles among the shattered buildings. Your explorer finds a barely legible map revealing other deserted locations nearby. Huh? Is that what these are? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's peep them rather than. Oh, I can't, I can't set his movement in advance, like, where I want him to go next turn. That's fine. Study of profession. Alright, so we got farmers now. I think we... We're gonna need people getting timber. Right. Maybe we get this harvester upgrade. Honor. I don't have anybody worthy of that honor upgrade, so I don't want I don't want to get that yet. Let's go harvesters next. I was like might have been too early with that. Ooh, construct a wheat farm. I hope it's too early for those farms. Yo, what's up, Charlie? How's it going, man? Trying out this new Civ type game. It's supposed to be super hard. You start like it's like a pre like it's like around 400 AD you start out so it's like Roman Empire you're like trying to beef with them or become part of them and take them over pretty good this dude's idle let's get him out of here how's the family going bro move there we go Rumors of deserted farm. Finish turn. Yo, what the hell are these guys doing? A caravan has arrived. Oh, this is where you can buy stuff. Okay. Ooh, I don't know what I need. I, you need some of this stuff to upgrade caravan. You can spend treasure to bribe the caravan in order to bring a larger and more diverse quantity of goods starting with the next time they visit. The cost of doing so doubles each time. After spending 10 treasure, future caravans will reliably have 10 alcohol, 10 parchment, 5 cloth. Hmm. Maybe we... Um, let me, let, let, let me see what I'm trying to train for. Wow. That's crazy. That's a late more. Oh. Okay. 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 Um, I'm going to save, but I, I, I know I, I am going to need some of this stuff. Um, can, can I see the caravan any time now? Like any, or was like that my, my last chance to talk to it? 
Not training a clan. Alright, let's let us let us figure out what we need. Okay. So we just train these guys to dig rock, right? Okay. Identify deposit. Identifies the it will take a total of four turns. So can he not do it because he spent move point? Okay, he spent his all his time getting out here right now. So maybe next turn I can I identify this. You are a digger, right? Did that correctly? Yes. Can I identify in four turns. Yo, like be something good. And what can yeah? I wanted I want to do. Training something that can mess with these horses. I don't see any horse related stuff here. That's why I'm thinking about popping over after har I get harvesting. I'm thinking about popping over to honor and seeing like what's down here. Is there anything like I, I feel like if anything's gonna use the horses, it's gonna be stuff down down that tree. We can't see it yet. I don't want to look it up or anything. Settlement is idle. Oh, because we're not training a clan right now. Okay, so they are being they're being trained right now. That's why I can't do shit with them. Okay. Well, we need somebody to gather berries and we need and can't do anything with those horses yet, so and I think we're gonna need wood as well, so we'll we'll just go with the general uh I don't know if like there's a wood. I think there is a wood cutter. You, Lothar. Actually, yeah, you guys just got here. So you've been here for a while, so we'll just get you. You collect wood. Among the ruins, your explorer finds a clan of gatherers who wish to join you. Hell yeah. Okay. So that's that. Clans are idle. Who? This dude, okay, nice. Um, no, no, no. This is that. This is that other gatherer. Cool. Well, you you can get to work right here then. That's perfect. Got a job right around the corner. Can't do it yet. That's fine. Um, this guy will get him. All right. Let's just make sure that this is. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that was a dead end right there. I think that does kill his movement for the rest of the turn. And the next time we'll get him going to those ruins. Okay, so you can queue up a movement for the next turn. Yeah, men's heading out tomorrow, um, Alabama for a week for work. So it's gonna be me and the kids. I got a D and D game on Sunday though. So that'll be good. Clan Hubert and Clan Lothar are now feuding. Lothar has become upset. Are you kidding me, guys? This wasn't supposed to happen. Space bar to go to the clan screen. All right. What the hell's going on here? Would rather sit around than have you ask us to do something absurd. I would would force. Okay, okay. These two dudes are beefing. Well, these guys are actually worth something to me. You are like I don't give a damn. I don't. You know. Okay. What is what is this saying here? A serious quarrel has broken out between Clan Helbert and Clan Lothar because of repeated clashes caused by spending too much time together. Each is demanding the other be punished in the settlement. Press spacebar to go to the clan screen where you can learn more. Click the notification, cycle through them, right click the notification to dismiss them. Dismiss. And what is this? Um. No, there. You guys continue training. Is this what's happening with you guys right now? Yeah, I want to. How do I choose to? I want to punish them. How do I choose who gets punished? Order this clan to return the map. No, I like this clan. They are awesome. 
Even though they haven't done anything to me yet, they will be awesome. You can spend alcohol to temporarily improve the mood of a clan. The price of doing so doubles each <laughs> Wow, you can only do it five times. Plan management screen. Oh, these are all... Whoa. Okay, these are other disciplines. Oh, okay, okay. This is the... Okay, okay. The ranchers. There's, so there's animal people. I, okay, I, I really want to punish somebody. Alright, identify. These guys... Forage that. Oh, are you not that kind of gatherer? What is your job? Oh no 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 no! I'm sorry. A reaper is what gets. I'm I'm an, I'm an idiot. A reaper is what what pulls from that. They need to go for these berries here, and that's fine. Because I was gonna train somebody to do that, but now we already got someone. All right. Well, I I don't know how to punish someone. Clan Hagius, smithing lineage and sensitive, had joined our tribe. You can now train harvesters. Okay, this sound this, this sounds kind of promising. Sensitive, whatever. Smithing lineage starts with four levels in metalworking. Adds two tools to the stockpile. Oh, okay, I see him. And they will get mad if you give them a job other than metalworking. Well, I don't intend to. Now train clans as harvesters. All right, let's mess with these idle clans first. All right, you get there. Yeah, they, they're going to have time getting through the force. Now, what are you now? This dude is clan... All right, clan Hulbert, finally. No, 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 this is the wood collector dude. Whatever. He'll do his job. Like, what the hell are these guys doing? I thought you had a job. Gatherers. Gather then, man. Okay, that gets them on the map, right? Oh, that's what went wrong. Man, I'm an idiot. Oh, well, can only one people... I wonder if two people can forage at a time. They've got to be able to. They just got no beef for no reason, but you know what? I'll learn from that next time. All right, now these other fools need jobs. You guys are going to get metal working, which I don't even... Yeah... We'll start you down that path, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trained right now. Interesting. But, but sometimes people are going to just have to have a crappy job. Hold on. Am I, did I do so? I, I think I just... Oh, I'm an idiot! Okay, okay, I'm about to restart. I'm about to restart. I get it. So, when I was doing the knowledge screen, I thought this was all I could see. Between honor and agriculture. I didn't realize all the disciplines are out here. That changes everything. Okay, 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 okay. Because okay, I would not have gone so far into farming and agriculture right now. Because I'm thinking, like, man, is this all I can do? No, this is not what I want to do. This is the roguelike aspect of it, though. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well, anyway, we kind of got to... We'll see if we... 
<laughs> lack of scroll bar, right, would have would have really made that made that better. Had no idea, dude. You know. But yeah, what's up, Skunkhauser? Good to see you. Okay, this might be okay. Oh no, this looks like we. Okay. We'll see what this. And this is different. You have a choice to make. Okay. Well, let's see what this new hand of clans looks like. Corrupt and handy! Clan Kyle has joined our tribe. Wait, you mean we can just stay here? No strings attached? Well, that's new. Corrupt. Resource production reduced by one quarter. That is significant. Look at... Oh my god. Resource production from con constructed structures reduced by one quarter. Might can... Uh, commit theft every few years. Oof. Handy. Starts with three levels of crafting, though. Man, I mean... Ugh. It's gonna be... <laughs> Clan Froderick has joined our tribe. Nothing to say. Why does he have a star in it? Noble. Violent and esteemed. Power increased by half. Okay. Thank you, soldiers. Esteemed, ennobled, training time doubled in what are these three things now? Agriculture, livestock, and metalworking. Okay, yeah, and anything that's hard work, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. You're not going to put them in that situation. We'll put them, we'll give them something else. And but not necessarily that. Bad. Clan Einar. Like, I'm always scrolling the mouse now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we are called Clan Einar. Inhale from the land soggy and smelly. But dry ground? Well, this is new. Eloquent. Minus one turn to train in social professions. Marshman. No extra turns needed to enter marsh. No extra move points need to enter heavy rain tiles. Doesn't become trapped in flood. That's amazing. You are you are good. Um, choice to make. This effect will be applied to Clan Roderick. Oh, okay, okay. Well, well I don't want to give it to some, someone that they hate. What did they not like? They did not like... They did not like agriculture, livestock, or metalworking. I don't know what profession I'm going to put that dude in yet. Let me bring up the clan screen real quick. Um, what was his, like, did he, was there anything he necessarily had a penchant for? Okay, just don't do those, those things. But he's violent. So, power is what exactly, I just want to get the definition of. Power is the rating is rating of a, a unit and army's military strength. Uh, one army with double the power of another will beat it up pretty good. Um, okay, so I think that makes the decision for us. We will put it into what I believe I, I believe honor, but let me let me double check. Still getting familiar with these things. Now that we know we can go through all these things, dude, a scroll bar would have been wonderful. Like, I get show all. Oh, show all shows you, okay, what you don't what you don't have yet. This is cool. What is all this master of ceremonies upgrades? Okay, these are, these are things that you can get multiple times. Interesting. Meat smokers. Fishmongers. Yay! I like fish. Ooh. Coin makers, glass blowers, steel, armorsmith, colliers. Hmm. Pretty cool trees. Sculptors. Couturiers. Wow. Hewers. Right, right. Kiln masters. Okay, so crap. Here.
produce massive amount of fame from stone blocks. <laughs> sure. Massive amount of fine cloth from cloth. Massive amount of boards from timber. This is like your 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 high end production, but what is all this? Explorers. I was just like wondering how these these trees are going to be. So you started out, and we're going to set somebody up to be an explorer first for round. Probably maybe these guys, but I don't know. I want to put him in somewhere where he'll actually be able to get get something out of his power. You know what I'm saying? And having an explorer with power is not necessarily bad because they're going to run into stuff out here. So that might be how it goes. Surveyors, traders, bars, lord keepers, guides. But I feel like somehow his violence will serve him more as a hunter. You know? Foraging on herds. Can I identify deposits? And what else can he And he gets two power. So it adds to his power. I'm 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 leaning towards that. But training a clan, I do believe I, I do want to um I do want to uh get an explorer first round, and I think these are ideal explorers. Just because I mean Marsh, I don't know how much we're going to face. Nice not to get trapped in flooded tiles. Heavy rain feels like something that could happen pretty often. And, I I mean, yeah, like, she, it, she, it says she's better as a social profession. But, which ones are the social profession? This is not to mean we can't change, switch her up at some point. I think it might be a social profession, though. Discovery? Oh, okay. They're marked. So she could easily just move into one of these social professions afterwards. Because it's not, like, out of di discipline for her. Beautiful. That worked out. He's a, th that is a nice clan. Starter clan right there. So, we will train the Einar in the ways of exploration. And in regards to profesh, study profession, you know, what profession we're going to study. I don't know. Let's see what's around us. I mean, we've got some forage around us. So we're definitely getting people just going as foragers initially and some rock. And there is marsh around here. So, you know, having these marsh folk... Are good now are these things on the map like oh this is not just okay because some of these civ games right they just all have like a dragon or whatever for un... like you know just stuff undisclosed you know uh they'll just have some map art for the uh, undiscovered portions you know kind of like the fog of war like just some flavor but these actually mean stuff these are rumors of things that might be around us bandit camp no, wheat. But, you know, I guess our rumors is what we're going to have to base ourselves off of, you know, so that there's some kind of animal out here. So, yeah, I think in regards to studying professions, I don't know, I wonder what they suggest the first, like, a, what what is a good... Yeah, <laughs> mythical beehive. I feel like agriculture is a good salt because you want to probably go with something that's going to get you food down the line, right? Well, what's his face is going to become hunters. But as for like what my first discipline is going to be. I think it's I think we're just we're still gonna go with uh I think we, we're gonna go with food still. Just trying to see if there's anything in these early tiers that's like no, it's something I really, really want, you know? Surveyor 
freighters. Use a huge amount of treasure by constructing trading posts. Like, I want to go like a little trader build. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards, you know, I mean, we're going to see what the world around us has to offer and then like kind of go off that. Like those beehives, you can go like, you know, that opens up the possibility of maybe going beekeepers. You know what I'm saying? There'll be a protection of honey. And I think you can use honey to make wine, right? So you get a dude who's a winemaker and then that opens up stuff like feast master that you know professions that require alcohol now granted you can buy these stuff open up you know open up the stuff but it's also nice if you have a steady stream of it right yeah i think food food is good i stack it up before winter time okay and then what was this choice to make we are going to give them five levels in honor. We are going to make them soldiers use their violent nature to their advantage. To our advantage. Like that. Clan Waldemar, fast learner and afraid of animals, has joined our tribe. Our, you may switch a clan's discipline to agriculture. Well, let's welcome our new clan. <laughs> Great of animals. Training time doubled in livestock. <laughs> Experience gained in livestock half. Power versus mounted units half. <laughs> Fast learner. Minus one turn to train. You know, this is, this is fine. It just kind of shows you, gives you direction, you know. Choose a clan. For what? Receive two levels in agriculture. It is going to be it. one of you guys who doesn't have a discipline yet. You guys are crafters, so that's going to be fine. You guys are honor. You're going to be Einar. You guys are explorers, so it is going to be the Waldemar. You guys don't like animals, so that's fine. It works out. What's up, Waldemar? You're a farmer. Oh. Thank God. Not the animal. <laughs> Alright, so agriculture on lock. We can start... We can push people towards those. Allow you to study new professions and allows you to give that bonus. Well, you know, I wonder if it's like... I mean, we, we don't necessarily have to push towards one of these right now. Though I feel like if I was going to, it'd be Harvester. Gatherers and Reapers. We're, we're, we're going to change that. I feel like it's a good time to kind of like push other things we do have. Like, okay, like now I can study Discovery for one turn and then give my... Give that clan that two levels of Discovery... I don't know if that's what I want to do. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like mulling it over. Like, is is that what I want to do? I think we can hold off on crafting stuff. Not necessarily press to get this stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like, is there anything on the agriculture that I like? I feel like we could use like immediately, and honestly, to be able to like get a harvesting boost in like three rounds. Uh, but it requires tools, which we don't have. We'll have to buy them. And if there are bees, then we're going to need... Or you know what? We're... And wood... Livestock something, and then wood collector is a totally different thing. Okay. Word up. Awesome. Yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna, I think we're gonna just, uh, gonna go for the boosts. Why not? This is, this is the time to discover if this is the right way to do it or not. Second life! Go! Alright. 
That's it. Okay. Clan Rand, petty hunters have joined our tribe. You may now switch your clan's discipline to discovery. Okay. Alright, well, that's good. Hunters. Starts in the hunter profession, likely to get upset if they're forced into profession outside of honor, and likely to engage in my field if there's a petty's. Not, not too bad. Um, settled clan to get the bonus here. What? I can't... Where, where, oh. Are you not... Can I not... Okay, enter settlement. Okay. Ha uh, Give you the boost, right? There we go. There, now you can leave the settlement and begin your exploration. But there's a way. Because that level's good for him, right? Well, anyway, it'll, it'll, at least he'll be able to get into new jobs. Um, Let's, yeah, let's see if this mythical honey is a thing. Still got movement. Unidentified animal. Beehive. So beehives are a thing. Wonder if she would should think about that. We're not training a clan or studying a profession right now. I think we should start training a beekeeper, yo. Get our agriculture peeps on that, because we don't even have any, like, real plant around us, you know? Start getting them on that. I mean, we've got some berries to forage. Alright. And then we'll train a clan. Okay, we gotta get... Alright, we've got them. You all are hunters. So we can get them on the herd. These guys... They're happy. They're just chilling like, yeah. We're good. They're going to be a beekeeper at some point. So let's get you on wood. You will be a wood collector. Oh, do I have to? So I gotta... Pull your weight, yo. Clan Ulbricht. Stoic and all thumbs have joined your tribe. All thumbs means he just can't be a crafter. That's fine. Stoic means mood is always content, never has desires. Never get you know what? That is a that is a it's a fine payoff. I mean, it, it, it evens out. You're you're good. All right, this is my hunter. Get him messing with that herd. So like, how does this work now? Identify deposit, and it's gonna take him. Dog, it's going to take you four turns, so it's going to take you two months to figure out what kind of animal that is. Son of a... <laughs> Alright, I'm just, I just, um, am going to venture out a little bit past near the beehive. I kind of want to see what's up with these bandits, though. How close can I get without... <laughs> Alright, wood collector... Let's keep you close. Like, you can do your job right fine right there. Okay, and not training a clan. The next clan will train. Can't train a beekeeper yet. I think we're going to get them out there as a hunter as well. Y'all got to start just because you're nobles. Doesn't mean you can't be out there doing shit. You gotta make that money. Level 5, so pull that weight. You should be able to do it well. Hut, 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 hut. Hut, hut, 
Clan Mannheim, obstinate and afraid of fire, has joined our tribe. Afraid of fire. Just sure, we agree to join your tribe. We're going to do things our way. Got it. Okay. Training time doubled in metalworking. Okay, so don't make them crafters. Obstinate. Training time doubled in honor. Experience gained in all disciplines reduced by one quarter. Likelihood of having desires. These dudes are a total pain in the ass. Training time doubled in honor. I was going to put you all in frontliners, but... Y'all are just going to be like tree cutters or rock breaker or something like that. Okay. Like, get a view on. Okay, so those are bandits. Kill them. No, oh, they have the power of three. The enemy's crippled and driven off. Your victorious army left bloodied and sore. I don't know if that's something we can. I don't know if that's something we want to do right now. Okay, that's uh, we're gonna have to face them. That's just how it is. Um, all right, who's next? You can forge the trees. Okay, and Froderick. Are, are these guys still identifying the deposit? I guess these guys can. I guess they can hit the same herd. I guess they'll just kill it faster. Alright, not training to clean. Oh, uh, I really wanted to make you a beekeeper next round. So that's what I'll do. Now these guys have no jobs. This guy doesn't want to be a crafter. Alright, we'll make this dude a gatherer. Experience reduced by one quarter again. Um, this guy will make. Go for those berries right there. I hope those bandits can't kill me. Caravan has arrived. Do that in a second. Can now train beer key beekeeper, and now we're not studying a profession. All right, who are we gonna boost up? Uh, I don't want to make anybody a livestock person yet, because I mean, if that that pack up there ends up being like a livestock animal, though, we will pick it up. But right now, I think. Those dudes did not want to do metalworking. I, like, don't want to give that honor boost to one of those clans that are in there, though. <laughs> Messed up, but I don't want to do it. Hold on, it was only one of those things that didn't like. No, all thumbs can't do crafting, okay. And he can't do metalworking. But he can still be a crafter. Just a pain in the ass. And then, okay, and this guy's about to become a, a food dude. Study new professions in livestock. Yeah, we'll make this dude a... I think we're gonna... I don't know if I'm gonna really have use for that yet. Beekeeper. And then we'll get a winemaker so we can make the... That's how we'll do it.
No, I don't need anything from here right now. I don't think. Lands are idle. Okay. Let's get you exploring up in here. And these dudes. Those guys are still foraging. Or identifying. And then these guys, I mean, can they identify? Uh, there's no point in having both of them identify. Let's just have them scout a little bit more. Look around. Clan Askin, a paranoid hoarder, has joined our tribe. Can we stay? Come on, what's the catch? Adds three food to the stockpile. Adds five tra So hoarder is awesome. Paranoid has a vision range, but one less move point. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Um, Alright, so now you are a gatherer. You shall gather then. Grabbing those berries. There we go. We need food production. Not training a clan. Okay. You're a beekeeper! Hold on, why can't I do beekeeper? Train clan in profession. Oh, requires timber. 20 timber. I can buy that, though. I only have three. But F2. So can I buy a little bit of timber for now? Ah, okay. Three to buy. I got it. I want to buy. Yo, this menu is tore up. How, how, how do I buy? I have, I have no idea how this is supposed to work. 105 to spend. I want timber. I guess... Oh, I get it. I'm, I'm an idiot. He doesn't have it. He just doesn't have it. The, the price is there. All right, later, Skunkhauser. Thanks for coming out, man. I'm an idiot. He doesn't have any, so no. Should have thought about that. See, now I now I know. Dang, that's how many turns it's going to take me to get a winemaker. Then he might as well... I might as well make him a woodcutter in the meantime. No, we'll get we'll get we'll get one of these guys to be a woodcutter. Yep, that's your life now. Lands are idle. Yeah, I would love to get you hunting stuff, but Oh damn. And you're still identifying. Okay, we'll figure it out, dog. Everybody else is doing their... Doing their share. You've identified a herd of sheep. Okay, so that's livestock. You can harvest it by clamming clan forage or construct a structure on it. So... So can my hunters, they can, my hunters can forage this. Foraging allows you to harvest the tiles resources without constructing a structure, which is not just useful, but essential in the early game. 
convenience always comes at a price though and the ter per turn production of a forge will always be lower than of a structure yeah okay I mean, we're going for ours. <laughs> He's just going to shoot an arrow. Now, I wonder if two people can forage at the same location. I guess we're going to find out. Um, clans are idle. I mean, I'm not trying to extend too far, like, beyond where the, you know, bandits are. So I'm just kind of like poking, poking around where we can go right now. Hut, 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 hut. Trying to be able to make that wine. All right. So you're living that woodcutter life now. How much more wood am I going to need? Let me just... Trying to get a sense of... I want to make you a beekeeper! Okay, we're, we're, get, we're getting the wood. I wonder if it's worth, like, getting another wood man. I mean, there's no other jobs to take. There's No, I, I can have someone dig this rock right here. Yep, that's your life now. Well, what, what does he not like doing, though? Oh, no, these guys are fine. This guy's perfect for, for rock breaking. But I'm not studying a profession right now. We've got wine keepers, beekeepers, those... Wine keeper. I might go harvesters. I'm leaning on harvesters right now. Huntsman, meat production from hunters doubled. We're gonna have to fight those dudes too. Those bandits. Hmm. What are these ranchers doing? Is this the building? Ah, uh, sheep pasture. I see, I see. The rancher does that. I mean... Maybe we'll turn one of those hunters into a rancher. No, but I don't think they like like that. We'll do that next time. And then we'll have them move on to the next people. Maybe, maybe it's too early for buildings, because we don't even know if we're going to want to be here yet. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the honor. Give somebody that honor boost. Probably Herodric. So I'm going to send them back, actually. So he can get that boost. Be some level 5 something awesome. Clan Adelfried, Hillman, passionate, have joined our tribe. You've met Attila, the Hun of the Huns. You may switch a clan's discipline to honor. What the heck? Clan Adelfried. Though our, though, although our rugged homeland might be too dangerous to live in now, we still know it like the back of our hands. Minus one turn to train, experience, and all disciplines doubled. Obsessed with every desire, likely to... Oh, wow. No extra move needed to enter Hilltops. These guys are pretty cool. You've met Attila of the Huns. You can click this notification to pay him a visit, but there's no need to do so until the two of you have actual business to discuss. Okay. I'm not going to do that then. You have, may choose a settled clan to receive two levels and honor... Oh, a 
I'll have to, I want to wait then. Well, these folks might be able to, you know what, I'm going to give it to them. It's actually not a bad idea. All right, hunters. You can explore something else, and you can forge more wood. And this is my explorer, right? Oh, what are you finding? Dang, we are surrounded. All right, we're going to have to deal with these dudes at some point. Give leader reply. Haughty and vindictive. Haughty leaders believe they're the best and everyone else is inferior. Vindictive leaders never forgive and never forget. So much as annoying them, and you've made an enemy for life. Pagan, relationship level RL is improved by plus one when leaders share the same faith. We don't. Tilla has no friends. He is enemies with an unknown leader. He has a cocky approach. <laughs> relationship level minus one. If you know what's good for you, you'll offer me a token of your appreciation. Fuck. Give treasure. Good. I think we'll get along rather well. Phew. Make alliance? Not declare war. Study profession. Okay. What is a watchman going to do? And construct watchtowers. Oh, extend your borders by three tiles. Huntsmen greatly increase the amount of meat produced by your hunters as far as weapon. Beastmaster. This is what I'm talking about. This requires alcohol, which we'll be able to make soon. It all just needs to come together. Oh, the Feast Master, that sounds awesome. No, archers sound awesome. The archer is the first full-time warrior profession available at the gates. They're useful in the early game, which should be replaced with spearmen if you expect heavy fighting. Yeah. That's the way we go. Fighting profession. Oh, I need I need five weapons. Oh, how how do I see the caravan? Two weapons. Want. I'm not sure how I buy. This this seam is broke. Shit. Buy five weapons. It would cost you 30 gold to buy this this caravan's entire supply of weapons. Why the hell is this not working? Alright. Be right back, guys. I'm going to take a quick ergo break, grab a drink, and uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes with more of this.
All right. Back. I'm going to switch over to some um, my time at Porsche. Because I don't even know what the hell's going on. Like, I can't buy stuff. I got to figure out what the hell's going on here. I'll figure it out another time. <laughs> Push my stuff over. All right. Some nice chill. Ugh. Continue my playthrough here. I think we're about to get to like the Halloween. There's like a Halloween event or something coming up. I know nothing about it. But I'm liking the events here. They just put a hot fix. Yo, Puma Oblivion, how's it going, man? Happy New Year. How have you been? Hell yeah, man. I love it when, when, when my old peoples come up in here. Hope life is treating you well, man. Okay. What day is it today? It is... It is Wednesday. We gotta be... We, on every day that's a weekday, I always try to get that good commission. Like some topaz for me. Ginger, yo, I, I got it. Alright, let's just... I'll just go ahead and bring it with me so that if I run into her... And I love the inventory management in this game. How you just pop everything into the... It's like, and then when I go back to Stardew Valley, I'm like mad that it doesn't... The inventory management is not as good. Oh damn, we got a lot of these topazes now. A good amount of dough for them too. Just start carrying them around. Oh yeah, it's nice. Oh, let me see this thing. Okay. Ooh, I like that case. Nice lights. Awesome, man. Congrats. You looking to, uh, to play, uh, yeah, what have you been playing lately? You looking to get into Anthem? Oh, crap. Let me get my contract. No, let me get that, let me get that job. Hold on, which, what is this? I want one of the B ones. Three pot of Asteria. One wooden music box. I want the music box job. Ah, eat it, sucker. I think he's still beating me as best craftsman, but I kind of fell off on uh, commissions for a while. That was a mistake, but it's not too bad. Play this game at your own pace, but I, I do want to be better than that guy now, and I need to be better about giving my cows love. I don't know, they they produce more for you if you do that, or what? Okay. Let me make what I need right now. Nice, man. Wooden music box. Oh, I already have all the parts. Yo, I love when that happens. How many did he need? Just one? 
I got you, player. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, let's turn this in so we can get our. So the dude can applaud me for being such a fast builder. Who, who needed this? Doctor Zoo, are you at the hair salon right now? Where are you at? Yeah, there's a lot of quests right now. This dude here owes me a free haircut. I haven't done it yet. Oh, nice! Awesome, Puma. Yeah, my son, he's... He loves some Fortnite. Where the hell is this dude? Aha! Uh, did you think I didn't know that you? Well, unless you can consider this as me. What should I do? Talk with the silver corpse. I ain't gonna. You ain't. You ain't. I'm not giving you something, man. I ain't. That's gonna. Then that would mean I admit to stealing from you. Hell no. That's where you are. I'm sorry. I don't know anything. It isn't good for a. Oh, still asking about the dog. Hell yeah, give me that commission. That dude's just hating. Word up. Make sure I got a research going with Petra. Hello. We're still studying the data disk. Alright. So now that I got that quest, I got let me see what other quests I got. I'm gonna do the one where I gotta build this crane. It's got a bunch of side quests now. <clears throat> see calendar coming up, it's this thing. Two day event. Day of memories, ghost hunt festival. And wishing lanterns. I don't know shit about any of them, but we'll see what's up. They did have a kung fu tournament, and that's probably when this game sold me. I was like, oh, they got a kung fu tournament. <laughs> Grand Theft Pickaxe. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to the cops about it, because this dude's gonna try to... I'm just gonna solve the crime of your missing pickaxe. I'm not gonna... Oh, hey, Builder. Something the matter? Higgins falsely accused me of stealing his pickaxe. Did he now? Don't worry, we'll handle this. Thanks for letting me know. Straight up told on him. And now he's asking for a mission. Signs of trouble. Quests you got for me right now. Dawish fish stew, we're not worried about it. We're gonna put that on the back burner. Crane, we gotta do that. Find the dog, I wanna do that. Fix the electric box, don't have all the parts. Habits of ginger. Huh, so that dude didn't give me a quest then? Okay, whatever. Or how many of these have time limits? Just that one has six days. 25 days to get this construction crane going. I want the dog, though. No, I'm going to do the crane, because I don't want to run out of time on that. Better easy and what up? It was good. I, li I like it. Um, but it's going to be... Uh, I need to, like, spend some more time with it off-stream. Just kind of, like, do some reading, figure things stuff out. As for who I'm going for in Porsche, it's Phyllis. Hello. I like that acupuncture boost. I can't make 
make you those noodles. It does have those nice boob physics, too. Right, what was it that she liked? She liked the um, talisman. That's who I'm going for. What about you? I think Emily, the flower store girl, is... That girl's the closet freak. Okay. Sparring buddies. That quest. A whole bunch of new quests popping up. There says there's it says there's a quest thing in here. Oh, this is where what's her face lives. Never been in here. Ginger, your friend is here. Hello. Thanks for coming. My condition doesn't allow me to go outside much. I didn't also didn't want to bother you at night. It's not a problem. Here's the topaz you wanted. Thank you. What do you need these for? Well, I have a lot of free time, so I do handicrafts. I can't go out and get my own materials, so I'm always depending on everyone to help. Oh, right. Here's your pay. Don't worry about it, and if you need help in the future, just ask me. Thank you very much. Oh, snap. I insist. Ginger became your associate. Oh, and Gail likes me too. Uh, I, you do, you do want that dude to like you. I think he gives you stuff. I really like making small trinkets, but it's hard for me to gather the raw materials. I don't want to bother the rest of my family since they're all so busy. Um, yo, how about another topaz? She wants to go under walks under the wishing tree with me. The heck? Okay. My son Gust is nothing like me. Well. Okay. Let's do this crane. You went for the religious girl Nora. I think she was like one of the first people I met in this town. Wants to be sparring buddies over here. Not Alice. It's got to be that dude Django. There's this quest up here. Oh, oh, it's Sam. What's up? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I never go up there. I only went up there recently, and then I realized that's where you had to go to get the, the large planting box. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to be spending more time up there. Oh, Sam, I got you. Level 26. <laughs> kicks on you. you. can't even touch. Oh, she can't. Yeah, she touched me. That was quite the workout. You sure know how to fight, Sam. They're freaks of nature. Okay. And I don't go fishing, and I want to. Yeah, I always see them down there. They like meet in the town square and stuff. What do we need here? Four pulleys, five steel cables, three steel frames. I started working on this thing. The hoister. Alright, 
So we got three pulleys. We got the iron wooden plank. We need four pulleys though, so let's get one more of these cooking. Four planks, three steel frames, and five steel cables. Steel cables here, right? Five. Here we'll get we'll get two going here because then when that's done, we'll get the other ones going on that one. Split the load between the two grinders. Okay, five steel cables, four pulleys are getting taken care of. Three steel frames and a hoister. Steel frame, I believe, is in here. And the hoister. Okay, so we're gonna need bearings, more steel plates, industrial engine. I thought I had I have one of those, I thought. But I guess not. Um upgrade the work table. I thought I already had the, the, the best work table. <laughs> Welding rod. So we need a total of three of these things. Okay, so I'll still need three welding rods. Let's get those things going. How many steel bars do I have? Let's just get, keep making them. Oh, we're running low on iron! That's fine. We'll uh, pick some more of that up. Welding rods. We'll have enough carbon steel for the frames. It's the hoister. Yep. Make a couple more of the plates. The bearings. Yeah, we have materials to make a couple bearings. Some tin alloy. Alright, we'll get some of that going. Yeah, we got time to make a run in a little bit. I'm gonna do that a little bit in a little bit. I'm gonna grab some lunch right now. I'm starving. Didn't realize we've been going for two hours already. I got into that last game, started going like an hour and a half, and I was just like, damn, I didn't didn't realize how much how quickly that went by. Um I'm gonna be back tomorrow, trying to get a stream in during the day. Uh my rest of the day schedule's pretty full. I gotta um <clears throat> Hang with the kid. My wife works late today, so I gotta hang with the kids. Um, after that, gotta get dinner going. So I'm like full dad mode after this, and then um, tomorrow I don't got anything to do um, in the morning until you know I take my kid to soccer. So yeah, I've been trying. I'll should have a couple hours to stream tomorrow in the morning, and maybe even at night. As for the weekend, yeah, should be able to get more streams in as well. Um, have a D and D game on Sunday, so I'm gonna be doing that. But uh, yeah, dudes, thanks for coming out, and I will check y'all tomorrow. Peace out.